This, this is section 15.4. We continue with our study of the Milky Way. And in this section, we're gonna see some characteristics of the galactic center. Turns out that uh, the galactic center is a very crowded place. If we were to be close to the, um, the center, we would see about a million stars and the intensity of those stars that would be equivalent to 200 full moons. It would never be dark, it would be hard to fall asleep, and um, it would be filled with the light from all these stars, and also bright, the dust would be bright, and it, we would be bathed with uh, infrared x-rays and radio emitters. Here we have um, these two are infrared views of the um, nucleus. This is um, um, this uh, picture shows uh, these bundles there that are nuts and uh, showing a lot of activity in those regions. Expanding this section, we can find also in uh, infrared. We can find um, the galactic center. If, um, if we take a look at this part in our radio waves, we can see that um, the center, which is uh, uh, here at this point at Sagittarius A, would uh, be extremely crowded and you would have the number of stars that would be in the vicinity, that are in the vicinity, are about 300 stars in, um, in, in that region of one light year. The, um, the amount of mass in that region would be about 1 million solar masses per cubic light year. Radio waves can also provide a different view. Um, these images are mainly taken with the VLA, the Very Large Array, not far from, from El Paso. These, uh, the VLA is in Socorro, New Mexico. It's a good place to go for a one-day visit, and it is an array of uh, these uh, dishes that can that they have tracks that can be moved in and out to enlarge or make a more compact uh, receiver. And views from the VLA show the a radio image, which is extremely interesting of the of the center of the galaxy. We can see, that, like for instance, these is spherical. Um, clouds here are nothing but uh, remnants of a supernova and this is another one here um, the these uh, traversal um, areas show that there is a lot of activity that pushes matter and gas out most likely due to the very strong magnetic fields that exist in the in the region this is um, this uh, area here was um, covers an, an area that is uh, eight times wider than the, than the moon. Moon, also coming from here, is a special type of radiation, which is electromagnetic radiation, is known as synchrotron radiation, and this is produced by uh, electrons that are moving at very high speeds in in um, magnetic fields. They produce that type of radiation. There's another interesting view of the center. We keep track of some of the stars that we can see from here. We can see, we can see that they are moving in very elongated elliptical paths that are very hard to justify without the presence of something extremely heavy around here. These um, seven stars show that uh, there's got to be something there that is of the order of 4.3 million solar masses. It is believed that such an object is a supermassive black hole. This video is going to show some characteristics of the diner at the center of the galaxy, of the center presented of the galaxy. by Science at NASA. Deep in the heart of the spiral Milky Way galaxy, a hot vortex of matter swirls around a black hole more than a million times as massive as the sun. Many galaxies, perhaps all, 
contain such a monster in the middle. These supermassive black holes sustain themselves by swallowing stars, planets, asteroids, comets, and clouds of gas that wander by the crowded galactic core. NASA's new star spacecraft recently caught the Milky Way's central black hole in the act of having a snack. We got lucky and captured an outburst from the black hole during our first observing campaign, says Fiona Harrison, the mission's principal investigator at the California Institute of Technology. New Star is an orbiting observatory designed to take pictures of violent, high-energy phenomena in the universe. Launched on June 13, 2012, it is the only telescope capable of producing focused images of the highest energy X-rays, produced by the remains of exploded stars and ravenous black holes. It's like putting on a new pair of glasses and seeing aspects of the world around us clearly for the first time, says Harrison. New Star's sharp vision allowed it to pinpoint a burst of hard X-rays coming from the galactic center during an observing campaign in July. Lower energy X-ray observations by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and infrared data from the Keck Telescope in Hawaii confirmed the outburst. The Milky Way's black hole had just swallowed something. Black hole snacks are a violent process in which the meal is ripped apart by powerful tides, produced by their extreme gravity and heated to millions of degrees as they slide down the gullet of the gravitational singularity. In this case, New Star picked up X-rays emitted by matter being heated up to about 100 million degrees Celsius. The observation raises the hope that astronomers will be able to help solve a long-standing mystery. Why is the Milky Way's supermassive black hole such a picky eater? Compared to the giant black holes at the centers of other galaxies, the Milky Way's is relatively quiet. More active black holes tend to gobble up matter in prodigious quantities. Ours, on the other hand, is thought only to nibble or not eat at all. Asteroids could be a primary food source. One model holds that trillions of asteroids surround the Milky Way's core. Astronomers using the Chandra X-ray Observatory have indeed detected flares consistent with asteroids 10 kilometers wide, or larger, falling into the black hole. These space rocks would be about the same size as the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs on Earth 65 million years ago. Smaller space rocks might be falling in too, but their flares would be too weak for Chandra to detect. New Star's capability to detect flares above the energy range explored in the past opens a whole new window on this problem and provides astronomers with a powerful new tool for understanding what's happening deep in the core of our galaxy. The monster's menu might soon be revealed. For more focused, high-energy news from the center of the Milky Way and elsewhere, stay tuned to science.nasa.gov. And yet another way of um, looking at the uh, galactic center is by means of the x-rays that have been collected by Chandra. And very interesting that uh, Chandra shows x-rays coming from this blob that can only be gas because this is extremely large as to be a single source. And um, if, it, if this is gas, then there are questions to be answered, for instance, um, was this gas produced by a single event, some sort of a um, supernova explosion? But it's just too much. So people are thinking that um, maybe the gas is being replenished continuously from different sources. So this is one of the um, topics of uh, research. Something interesting that happens also at the galactic center is the fact that we can observe some gamma rays that we know that have a, a specific origin. Gamma rays that are produced whenever an anti-electron known as a positron collides with an electron and produces a flash of gamma rays of a, a very specific um, energy. And also a different um, type of emission are the X-ray bursts also detected by Chandra and uh, it is uh, believed that uh, is they are produced by gas that is uh, being heating, heated up as uh, the mass 
falls into a black of as mass falls into a black hole as we just saw in the in the video these are the questions that you would have answered and I'm going to give you the answers so you can study these for um, the quiz All of this material is also posted in the PowerPoint format in Blackboard.